Check it. Alright guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at AMC, Jamie, and Spy. AMC, Jamie, and Spy. We're going to be looking at how the recent outbreak of the conflict could be affecting the market on the short and long term. I know a couple of you guys asked me about making a video about this, so we're going to go ahead and talk about that because this is a recent development that just happened over the weekends. And of course, it could affect the market. So we're going to be looking at all of that, how it could be affecting in the short and long term. We're going to be talking about that, talking about my weekly update and prediction and more AMC, Jimmy, and Spy in this video. We also talk about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and of course, if Bitcoin takes off, the altcoin market will take off as well. So we talk about all of that and more in this video. Let's go ahead and hop in the charts, the facts, the data, and see what we have going on. All right, guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at AMC, Jamie, and Spy. This is going to be your update and prediction for AMC, Jamie, and Spy, guys. We have some breaking news, some breaking news, some breaking news, so we have to update on it. We have a recent development that has just happened. Guys, we have a outbreak of a war, an outbreak of a war. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about this, a little bit of the update and put this into my analysis. Of course, all news must be taken into my analysis. All news must be taken into my analysis. This is part of technical analysis. We have the news, we have the fundamentals, and then we have the technicals. So we are looking at the news as well So when we do make our analysis. So we're going to be diving into this right here into this video and putting this into my analysis. Now, I still think we're going to be having a green week. This does not change my predictions. All of my weekly predictions are still intact, guys. All of my weekly predictions are still intact, but I want to point out a few things that we're going to be looking for tomorrow to make sure you guys are prepared as traders and investors to make sure you are prepared for what could be popping off. So, if we wake up tomorrow, okay, if we wake up tomorrow and the market is open tomorrow, guys, the market is open tomorrow. So if we wake up tomorrow, okay, if we wake up tomorrow and we see a big drop down, then we know what happened, okay? If we wake up tomorrow and see a big drop to the downside, then we know that, hey, this might have an effect. Now, I'm thinking that we might see things continue as normal, but we did see the president come out and show support for one side. So this could be the U.S. drawn into another conflict, okay? And that would not be good, okay? That would not be good. So you can possibly see the U.S. drawn into another proxy conflict if we do see these things continue. This is an unprecedented attack. I'm not going to go ahead and comment too much on what is going on, but there was a attack um, with Israel, okay? There was an attack with Israel. At least 370 uh, Palestinians were killed since Saturday, according to the health ministry in Gaza, okay? So there was an attack. There was an attack, and this is an unprecedented scale of attack, they're saying. Again, I'm not going to comment too much and dive too deeply into what is going on, but know that this could potentially lead to another proxy conflict for the U.S., and if that is the case, then guys, this would be definitely bad for the stock market, and you could see a down move. Now, when we got into the development with Ukraine and things like that, you didn't see too much downside in the market. So again, I think we could maybe see things proceed as normal until you hear some type of official announcement to say hey this is going to be a problem until the until um the president comes out and says hey we are putting troops on the ground then yes i think we could definitely see some type of action in the market if they say we're putting boots on the ground or something like that then i definitely think we could see some type of movement but until then i really don't think it's going to be affecting too much of what's going on what i really think we're going to be seeing is what i have here putting on the charts basically a put to the upside here on spy consolidating trying to stay above this orange line of 200 or 429 and 60 cents if it can stay above this orange line you're going to see a push to the upside again this is what i have marked here you guys can see if it does get above this or this orange line i do think we're going to be getting a push to the upside right here this white dotted line is basically what you're looking for and what my price prediction is for the morning. Now, if we see the stock all of a sudden drop down, this is SPY. We see NASDAQ and SPY all of a sudden drop down and have a big pullback. 
then obviously I was wrong. And yes, this is going to have a huge effect. So this is how I do think it is going to be affected in the market. I know a lot of you guys were asking me, hey, can you make a video on how this is going to be affecting the market, on how we, how this is going to be affecting in the short term and the long term? So in the short term, I don't think we could see anything too crazy. I don't think we're going to see a major pullback or a market crash start on Monday. But if we do come out and somebody says for whatever reason, it doesn't even matter if it's for this development here in Israel or if it's for a development in the Ukraine. If he, if the government comes out and says, hey, we're putting boots on the ground, then yes, I think we're going to see the, the market start to drop. OK, I think we'll see the market start to pull back. Um, you could see a pop in some names that are defensive like Boeing or something like that. You could definitely see a pop in those stocks. But I think the overall market would pull back an event where the U.S. says, hey, they're putting actual U.S. troops on the ground in a foreign country um, for a new reason. So that is how I could think it could affect in the short term. Basically, I think we're going to see things continue as normal. Um, if we do see now, again, this is what I'm thinking. I think we'll see things continue as normal. But if we do see a pullback, if we see things start to pull back, then, hey, we need to reassess what's going on, reevaluate, and then see what's going on. So in the morning, it's going to tell us everything we need to know. Do we see a big dump to the downside in pre-market in the morning or in the in the morning bell? So if we see a big dump pre-market or if the market opens and we see a giant dump to the downside, then hey, we know that there's going to be an issue and I was wrong. But... Um, if we see this line continue to hold as support, then you know that everything is going to continue as normal and we're most likely going to see a big pop to the upside. We're still going to get that green weekly prediction candle and we're still on track. Now, as far as AMC and GME, um, I don't think it affects it much at all. Um, you guys already know how I feel about AMC and GME. Personally, again, this is just how I feel personally. You do not have to feel the way that I feel. But personally, I feel like these are hedges against a market crash. I feel like if the market were to crash, AMC and GME would actually increase in value okay i feel like it would increase in value because of margin calls and lack of liquidity in the market would cause these stock stocks to get forced um coverage on their short positions they have very large short positions amc has a short position of 11.20 percent gamestop has a short position of 20.20 percent this is reported by fintel um ortex is reporting a little bit more but again these are very large short positions on these stocks these are stocks are highly shorted or texas reporting 21.35 percent um and then 12.12 .12 on ortex right now for amc so again ortex showing just a little bit more short interest but again these are decent size short positions and again I do believe um, some type of market crash event would cause a margin call where these hedge funds that hold these short positions, the, the people that hold these short positions would have to then cover because the lack of not only the lack of liquidity, but of course, a margin call. And that would cause them to cover because they would need to put up more and more and more collateral to get the same amount of short position for AMC. And again, this would cause short covering. And again, a margin call and lack of liquidity would cause that. And short squeezes normally happen in events of um, minimal liquidity. When liquidity is low, when things are tight, when not a lot of things are moving around, that's when short squeezes can occur. Obviously, a short squeeze is based off of a lack of liquidity. Now, this is what I'm looking at for AMC and GME. Again, I don't think it will be affecting it too much. Honestly, like how I said, guys, I think it's going to be a hedge against a market crash. Um, we can see as far as the Bitcoin markets are concerned, the Bitcoin markets are not reacting to it at all. So again, this is more signs that the stock market is probably not going to react to it. If anything, I would say Bitcoin would be a hedge against um, a potential downfall in the markets as well. Um, I think you could see an initial pullback with the markets, but I really think that Bitcoin 
is a hedge against a lot of things. I think it's a hedge against inflation. I think it's a hedge against the stock market. I think Bitcoin is an ultimate asset. This is just one of my personal opinions. Um, and I think once people understand what Bitcoin really is, they'll understand that it is going to be the ultimate asset. You can see that I made this prediction here. Um, this prediction tracked very, very well, guys. You guys see that I made this prediction and it has tracked very, very well. I made this during a live stream and you guys can see that it's just continually correlating with this move it did start to divert a little bit i did call for a little bit higher prices at this point here but it is making a bull flag currently and looking like it's going to make a push to the upside so i do think bitcoin is going to make another move to the upside continuing to that twenty eight thousand dollar level and i do think in 2024 bitcoin is actually going to be having a bull run if you go ahead and look at the monthly macd you can see that the monthly macd is crossed to the bullish side so again the monthly macd is crossed to the bullish side which is very very bullish and you can see that um also if we go ahead and look at the weekly time frame you guys can see that the weekly time frame does have the super trend marked in green as well so again bitcoin looking very very bullish on the macro time frame when in doubt zoom out the macro always plays out and i do believe we will be seeing a bigger pop to the upside as it is continually holding these higher levels it just found a bottom off of that $24,000 level, getting a beautiful bounce. I do think that was the low. Again, I think Bitcoin is about to push up above this $32,000 range. And once it does get above that $32,000 range and hold it, that is going to be the beginning of a new Bitcoin bull run. It's going to absolutely take off once it gets above this range of resistance. And once it holds it as support, it's going to get a big push to the upside. It's going to be fast. It's going to push to like 34, 40, maybe even 50,000 very, very quickly and Bitcoin can make some explosive moves. So watch out. I do think this thing is setting up for a very, very vicious bull run here in 2024. Not financial advice. You can see that the weekly MACD as well is starting to curl up to the upside again. I think this thing's setting up for a move to break above this uh, 30,000 range and I think it's doing it very, very soon. We just broke out of this falling wedge. I think this thing is setting up for a move and I think it's going to happen soon. You can see that it's also holding this uptrend of support. Again, Bitcoin is looking very, 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 very bullish. And I do think it's going to decouple from the stock market. I think the stock market is actually going to be seeing a pullback to the downside. And Bitcoin is going to be seeing a push to the upside, in my personal opinion. I think the stock market is going to be coming back down here to fill these gaps. And the market's actually going to be having a major crash. After it has this recovery rally, I think it's going to be having a major crash back down to the downside. So basically for next week, I think it's going to have a bit of a recovery, pushing back to the upside and then see a pullback to the downside, continuing down overall macro. And you can see that on the macro, the weekly MACD is um, crossed to the bearish side. Now on the daily time frame, you can see that it's almost crossing to the bull side. That's a good argument that we're going to have a rally to the upside and then continue down. Down. But as far as the macro is concerned, you can see that the trend is down. We're continually making uh, lower highs, lower highs, and lower lows. You guys can see that on the weekly MACD, we are having a red MACD. You guys can see that we are in a macro bear flag. This is one giant bear flag. So again, if this bear flag plays out, you're going to see a big push to the downside. You can see that on the alligator the alligator is crossing to the downside on the macro time frame so again you can see on the daily time frame the alligator is crossed to the bear side as well when the blue bands on top that's a bearish move when there's a lot of width in between the bands that means the, the move has a lot of momentum to the downside so you can see that the overall macro momentum is to the downside so even if we get a little bit of pump to the upside pump to the upside you're still going to be able seeing a overall down trend this was the top here in my personal opinion so guys this is everything i'm looking at as far as the overall market how i feel like the new um outbreak of this conflict is going to be affecting everything in the short term i think it's not going to be affecting too much in the long term it could definitely be an issue but this is just my personal opinion again i could be wrong but this is just how i'm looking at everything as a technical analyst and an investor in the market but hopefully you did find this video informative if you did go ahead 
and drop a like. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for my live stream, guys. Tune in tomorrow for my live stream. I will be going live, market open, bell open to bell close. So make sure you tune in at 9.15 Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tune in to join us live to watch AMC, Jimmy, and Spy. I have a great community, very, very welcoming. So go ahead and tune in if you're new. We'll welcome you right into the family. Press subscribe to join the Daddy Zero family and start getting these keys today. And as always, have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out. All right, y'all, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like. Press subscribe for more content like this. And remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero updates. The Discord is $50 for a lifetime invite. Hit me up on my email, Data Zero Official 5, at Data Zero Official 5, to get in the Discord. Again, the email is Data Zero Official 5. Email is linked down below. Hit me up and ask me about my Discord. It is $50 for a lifetime invite. I give buy and sell signals. This gives you an advantage in the market. So if you want to get involved with that, go ahead and hit me up there. But all you have to do to support me is press like press subscribe and drop a comment that is a great way to help out and help the channel grow and help more people see this video and as always y'all i hope you're having a great day stay safe have fun make money peace out